In our last session, we generated our application using G. And in this session, we're going to start by looking at the data model in more detail. And then in the rest of section three, we'll begin tailoring the application to suit our needs. As we've seen, a YI application is split into CRUD actions for each data model. And the basic functions like list and view are available to all users. And then the create and update functions are restricted to logged in or authorized users. And the delete function is restricted to an admin only user. In our application, we're going to use this structure to divide the front end browsable website from the maintenance functions for data belonging to each individual user. For example, I'll be able to create and update and delete my web albums, but only view yours. Back in section 1.4, we discussed the structure of an MVC application and saw that the data model is the interface between the controller and the database. Data models will extend either a C active record object or a C form model object. The C active record object encapsulates, that is, contains, much of the database functionality that we'd have to write in a traditional PHP environment. And each AR class represents a database table, e.g. the album model holds the attributes for the album table. And each time we instantiate a model, it'll hold a single row of that table. For example, if we create a new album model, we'll create a new instance of the album active record class, and this will hold one row from the album table. The AR class uses methods to represent the CRUD operations, such as model save to update the model in the database. So to create a new record, we could use the following code. The data model holds many aspects of our database design, such as field validation, data relationships, model behaviors, that is, where we have common code shared across multiple models, and scopes. And as we previously mentioned, the data model is where we also store business rules and logic. Some of this may be within the validation routines, but also with specific routines such as enforcing relationships, calculations, searches, and so on. We'll be discovering different aspects of our data model in more detail throughout this course. The C form model object is used where we need to capture information from the user, which doesn't directly map to our database. And a simple example of this would be our login form. Otherwise, the C form model object follows a similar pattern to the active record object in that we can apply validation and other business logic within the class. However, as you might expect, it doesn't contain CRUD operations. So in our controller, the C active data provider object provides data in terms of active record objects. One instance of the object for each row, which is represented by an array of objects. Thus, the following code will provide an array of album AR objects, one for each row in the database. And then we can process each row with a for each loop in the following format. The C active data provider object encapsulates this functionality for us. And thus we can simplify our code even further by creating an album data provider and then passing this to our view. The view can then iterate through the records itself. So in this session, we've been introduced to the data model and its two data objects, the C active record and the C form model. And in our next session, we'll see how the active record object is used in real life.